Here we have the operator HMI required to run the cell, the same as what you saw in the virtual cell. And a key aspect to commissioning is what we call diagnostics. Diagnostics mean is the screens that are presented to the operator presenting the information in a correct way so that the operator knows how to operate the cells. So one of the modes that will work in here is called manual mode. I've turned the key, the tool or the cell is now in manual mode and I am able to now drive the tool using the actual hardware here. So I'm going to hold down this button here and you will see that it actually drives the clamps closed. So now turning the key to manual, holding the button down, I can actually cause the clamps to close, triggering the valving that's required to close the clamps. As the operator here, I can see that with the clamps closed, the tool is not ready for load, meaning I couldn't walk up and try to load a part into the fixture because the clamps are closed and, and obviously would be in the way. Now I can open the tool, which is important. Let's say the part got jammed in the tool and I needed to go into manual. And I can open the tool and cycle through other screens, like this screen you see here, and validate that all of the sensors that are monitoring the clamps and the pins have received input that those particular devices are in the proper position. However, before I can reload, I will need to re-extend the pins. And again, cycling this button here, the tool is now ready to load. So I'm presented with the correct information and the behavior of my fixture okay, is correct. Traditional manner of doing this work, I would have had to wait till this fixture was actually built, constructed, and sitting there in steel in order to test this. So here's the combination of the hardware working with the virtual device to, to prove out the diagnostics. So now I'm going to walk up once again, load that style one part into the fixture. Since it is clear to load, I'm going to walk clear of the cell, press cycle start, and of course let it start to run. And then during this cycle, I'm going to simulate the breaking of the light screen by placing my foot between the, uh, ver the hybrid screen we have here on the floor. So as you can see, the robot is now picking the fixture up. The light is yellow, meaning it's an automatic. And as soon as I broke the light screen, everything came to a halt. The hardware reflected light screen fault shows me that the stack lighting is red. And of course, our virtual robot came to an immediate stop. The operator is safe from, from any uh, harm at this point. So for this scenario, we're going to use a virtual safety device to trigger the fault condition. So on the far side of this particular cell, we have a safety gate. We'll rotate all the way around. Okay, we're going to start the load just as we did before. Okay, and this time I'm on the far side, so we'll just load it virtually here. Okay, I'll start the cycle. And from here, once we get into the uh, major move here so you can see it, we'll open the safety gate during the cycle, therefore triggering a, an unsafe condition. So virtual device triggering the emergency stop, and in the other hand, we had the hardware triggering the emergency stop. We have a fully validated set of logic here for the behavior of the cell, the operator diagnostics, and even the safety conditions that, uh, that need to be uh, covered 